All right, Lori, thanks. Education news. The Bakersfield City School District has been planning to install solar panels at Voorhees Elementary School in East Bakersfield. But in order to do that, the only shade-producing trees must be cut down. And some parents aren't very happy about it. 17's Karen Waugh attended the district board meeting tonight to hear both sides, and she joins us now with more. Karen? It's quite an ironic environmental story. Cutting down trees to make room for solar panels. It was a sea of green, a show of solidarity at the district board meeting tonight. Parents say the mulberry trees in question are the only shady spots on the playground at Voorhees Elementary, which are especially necess necessary for the student body of 1,000. In addition, many parents of kids with asthma and respiratory issues voiced their concerns. The trees also have sentimental value, planted by students in the 80s. We very much want to see solar energy. We're really excited to see solar energy in Bakersfield. But what kind of message are we sending our kids when we're removing the only oxygen producing, particulate removing, um, environmentally friendly trees on the campus? That makes no sense to me. The parents say the solution is simple. Put the solar panels elsewhere on campus, namely the parking lot or atop the school itself. But the district says it needs the state's clearance to put panels on the roof and the parking lots aren't large enough. The district also says they've hired an arborist who reports that the trees are actually a hazard. Regardless of whether the solar panels are going in or not, according to the experts that have come out to look at the trees, they are saying that they pose a hazard to our students because they are causing a tripping hazard and also decaying. On this map, the blue areas are where the solar panels will replace the five trees. The green circles are where the district says they've planted 35 new trees. Despite the district's actions, the parents have created an online petition with nearly 400 signatures so far. They're also advocating for more transparency with how green spaces are managed. The district plans to install solar panels at 14 other schools as well. If the trees are to be cut down, that will happen at the end of this year. I'm Karen Hua, 17 News.